and it's going to be a great help for the community. You bet. Well, it can cause leg cramping, ulcers, and for one Houston vet, the threat of amputation. He had clogged arteries in his leg, something that affects some 12 million Americans. Health Beat reporter Krista Marino here with a new way that doctors are treating it. Well, just like when doctors open up blocked arteries in the heart, now they're opening up these arteries in the limbs and saving many people from amputations. For a 75-year-old Houston man, the pain and cramping left him homebound and depressed. Some doctors even told him he would lose his foot. But all that changed at the Houston VA. The simple act of tying his shoes... I'm going to do the other one now. ...was impossible before. I couldn't bend my knee very good. With the shoes off, you can see the remnants of Bobby Ogg's illness. It's probably gotten better. Red, scaly, swollen skin, all because of something called peripheral arterial disease, or PAD. If this is not treated, that something can get worse. And ultimately, they may lose their toe or their leg. Dr. Peter Lynn is a vascular surgeon at the Houston VA. Now, does it hurt when I squeeze in here? No. He says with PAD, arteries in the legs get clogged like this. It happens to nearly 15% of people over 50, and Dr. Lynn says diet is usually to blame. High fat, high cholesterol diet can cause cholesterol to form and build up this plaque in the artery. The result? Poor blood flow, pain, ulcers, gangrene. It scared me something terrible. Even amputation. I was, uh really afraid that he might lose his leg. But with a new technique that involves laughing gas and freezing temperatures, doctors at the VA save dog's leg. By inflating a freezing balloon inside the artery, it minimizes the amount of damage to the vessel wall. Like angioplasty, doctors insert a balloon into the artery. The only difference, it's frozen, and for just a few seconds, so are the water molecules in the patient's cells. Less water goes into a cell, cells, less likely for the cell to swell and burst and die. He's, uh, he's back to his old self now. Og is slowly getting his life back. He can walk better. He's no longer in pain. His goal now? Like I say, I'm going fishing. He is going fishing, and we wish him the best. Now, with standard angioplasty, in just six months, the arteries can get clogged again. But with a frozen balloon, or cryoplasty, as it's called, the arteries can remain open for years. The Houston VA is the first VA in the country performing this technique. 